Let A be an n times n matrix. We have the following results. The kernel of A is a unique element, the zero vector, if and only if A is of full rank, which means that the rank of A is equal to the number of columns. So each column gets a pivot if we apply gauss jordan elimination to calculate ref of A. Secondly, if the kernel of A is only the zero vector, consists only of the zero vector, then we know that we have at least as many rows as we have columns. See? Well, if we have just as many columns as, as rows, then the kernel of A is unique, or the zero element, if and only if A is invertible. Well, a proof of A and B, well, C is actually easily derived from A. So in A and B, we know that the kernel is only the zero vector, If and only if the system AX is zero, has a unique solution, X is zero. So now suppose that the kernel consists only of the zero element, so we have a unique solution. And, and suppose that the rank of A will be smaller than M, then this means, since the system is always consistent, that there are free variables and that we have infinitely many solutions. Yes, we have uh, not each column gets a pivot, so the non pivotal columns represent the free variables. And since we have a consistent uh, uh, system, we always have infinitely many solutions. So this contradicts uniqueness of the kernel. So the rank of A should be N. Now suppose the rank of A is equal to M, then of course we have no free variables and therefore the system has a unique solution. So this is basically the proof of A. On the other hand, notice that the rank of A is smaller than the rank of uh, the, the rank of A is smaller than the number of columns and the number of rows, so it's smaller than at the highest, the minimum of M and N, so the number of columns and the number of rows. So it must hold that when the rank of uh, that A has full rank, or rank of A is equals M, that M should be the smallest of the two numbers M and N. Well, how do we derive C? C is easily proved since um, actually we have M is N, so if we calculate the ref of A, we would obtain the identity matrix. And if we obtain the identity matrix, A is the invertible.